Welcome back to a vlog. Just set foot in the house from Trader Joe's. I went after work, so let's do a quick Trader Joe's haul real quick. Lately, I've been obsessed, don't know why, but I've been obsessed with Caesar salad, all types of Caesar salad. So I got some romaine lettuce mix and also some spinach for some pasta later this week. I got the maple chicken breakfast sausage. I have to keep these in my house at all times because noel loves those this is a new pickup but i got the korean inspired bulgogi beef fried rice with kimchi i heard that this was really good and then i got some mozzarella cheese for my pasta later this week some shrimp stir fry salmon turkey bacon i have to keep turkey bacon at all times too i got a bag of rusted potatoes and i also got some shaved steak i couldn't find like pre-cut steak bites at Trader Joe's, they just had like fillets and ribeyes and stuff. And child, I don't cook steak, so I really don't know what to do with that. So I got shaved beef steak, and I want to make a baked potato bowl that I saw on Lemon 8. It looks so good. It's just broccoli, steak, and then like baked potatoes broken open. I got some 2% milk for my lattes, and I had to try this. Definitely about to drink a glass of that wine right now immediately so one thing i didn't know is that if you use a reusable bag at trader joe's you can enter a bag raffle which is drawn i'm pretty sure every saturday you enter it for a chance to win another reusable bag off of the wall filled with about forty dollars worth of groceries that is an amazing incentive for people using reusable bags i recently made the switch to using reusable bags only i even bought some little white mesh reusable produce bags for my fruit and vegetables because I just want to make an effort to live more sustainably. The impact that carbon emissions and global warming has on Earth is serious, it's crazy, it's insane, it's scary. Anyway, I came home to two packages and I honestly have not a clue in the world what it could be. One of them says it's from Care by Fatima, which I don't know. And then this one says Fong Brothers Printing. Like what? I have no idea. So I'm gonna open them real quick before I wind down because I'm pressed to know what it is. Ooh, I got some mango citrus rich body butter made with African shea butter to help rejuvenate, nourish, and protect your skin. I really love the packaging. This is a vanilla bean and almond body butter. I'm really excited to try these. I'm actually about to use them right now tonight i'm definitely more of a body butter kind of girl rather than lotion these days i feel like lotion just be too much work to rub it in i'm nervous because i still don't know what this is <gasps> it's victor and Rolf perfume pr this makes me so excited y'all this is my second designer fragrance pr in a week I'm definitely fangirling right now. And I love this for me because I have been saying that I need some new designer perfume because I've been wearing Dossier like there's no end lately. They sent me a 1.7 ounce flower bomb perfume. I am just so excited to use this. I've actually never smelled it, but I've always heard about how good it smells. Mmm, she smells sweet. This smells so good. So earlier this week, I got gifted the Mesa Margiela Beach Walk fragrance, the replica perfume. So good. I'm so excited and feel so, so blessed to have these opportunities. I have a few exciting things coming up content and partnership wise. I'm just so excited. And I love y'all so much because I wouldn't have been able to get any of these opportunities without y'all, especially those of you that also follow me on TikTok. So if you don't follow me on TikTok yet, go follow me now. Why you scroll down, don't stop this green light. Now you got to be special when you know I can't have you when I'm under the next one. Oh, now you want me to grasp. Just did my skincare, looking all glossed up and hydrated. I had a really good shower and I used the body care or 
care by fatima yeah the shea butter and it's really good it's definitely giving shea butter though but my skin does feel really like moist and hydrated and it's kind of shiny it's 809 and i'm in the bed i got everything i need with me got my dinner right here which is some chicken and broccoli alfredo lasagna got my cup full of water my wine my book my ipad literally everything i'm good to go did my skincare all i have to do is get up and brush my teeth right before bed but i'm not leaving this bed until it's time to do that I enjoy these kid-free nights to actually decompress and mentally reset so much. I just don't know what to do with myself, so I look crazy with this on. I just, I hate wet hair down my back. I just wash my hair because it was really oily. Look at this, like, it's not giving, it's not cute. Like, I literally hate wet hair or wet anything touching my skin. It just gives me the ick. I was thinking about whether I should edit, read, or watch baddies because I've been watching baddies. I've been hooked on baddies lately. I started to binge watch Baddies South and I just finished the season. So now I want to start Baddies West. I kind of went in the wrong order. Honestly, I didn't know what order the seasons were when I started watching it. I just automatically started with Baddies South, not knowing that there was Baddies ATL first. But now I feel like I gotta continue on with West and I've only watched about half of the first episode and I can already tell that this is gonna be a good season, especially because Tommy's on it. I don't know, I kinda got a feeling it's gonna be a whole lot of wretchedness and fighting. It's already starting off that way. I just passed the part where Stunner Girl snuck Tommy at the photo shoot, so. And you know Tommy is all the way with the shits. She said she was trying to start off sweet and cute, didn't want no smoke, but son of girl said, nope, smoke on the first day. I'm probably about to read though, because this book that I'm reading has me in a chokehold completely. I started It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. I'm sure y'all have probably heard that. It's a really trending and popular book right now because it's so good. I definitely see why. I started it like two or three days ago though, and I'm already on chapter six, I think. The book is so good. Anytime I have a spare second of downtime, I'm reading the book. I think I'm going to wait until the morning to edit because that's usually what I do. I wake up around 5, between 5 and 5.30, edit until about 6, 6.15, then get ready for work, and then I edit during my lunch break. That is so good. That garlic bread always hits. I've never, ever had chicken alfredo broccoli lasagna or whatever it's called but it's actually good but yeah i try to create a work-life balance i'm working on that right now so since social media is like technically my part-time job i don't want to get off work have to come home get to mommy cooking dinner wind down do bath time all that jazz and then go back to working so i try to do things in the evening that you know cater to me and my self-care well-being you know read watch tv instead of worrying about work 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 oh y'all my whole tripod just collapsed on me with my camera on it a piece of it broke off and i think i found the piece that's missing which is why it broke off but for the longest i didn't know what that piece was it was just chilling on my bathroom floor so i literally just left it there because i figured if this is an important piece of something then it's gonna pop up and i'm gonna know what it's gonna belong to and lo and behold it took my camera falling off the tripod the tripod for me to figure that out and honestly i don't know how the piece goes back in but it's hanging on there right now and honestly i'm taking my chances because Y'all know that I broke my Sony ZV-1 not too long ago and I am not trying to break it again because if I break it this time, Best Buy is not going to fix it for free. I think it's best that I block off the evenings to just spend time with Noelle and try to decompress as much as possible. I feel like being a single mom, I don't really get a chance to decompress after work because by the time Noelle is asleep, I have about an hour to an hour and a half until I want to go to sleep because I want to go to sleep early too. I don't want to be up late all night. So yeah, I'm probably about to just read for the rest of the night. I might watch a little bit of baddies, but I'm mostly going to read because I got to see what's going on with my girl Lily and Ryle. It's getting juicy. Happy Friday. It may or may not have been a few days since I talked to y'all. It's Friday and I last talked to you guys on Wednesday, but a series of events have taken place, which prevented me from vlogging. So 
I unexpectedly ended up staying with my dad and my vlogging camera was here so yeah I literally haven't been able to vlog but we're here and that's all that matters right it is very hot like very hot outside and I have the nerve to wear this sweatshirt all day is because it's like ice box in my office like so cold but I'm about to change clothes anyway I have a wax appointment at 2 and it's 12 56 I have an alarm set for 1 35 because I can't be late to my radiant waxing appointment or they will cancel me and I can't have that. I'm starving though, so I'm back to make some Trader Joe's kimchi fried rice. I don't really have anything planned today. I think my family's getting together again. My sister and my cousins came in town yesterday, I believe. So we might be getting together again. We were together last night to celebrate the passing. Well, oh, that sounded so bad. Not to celebrate the passing of my aunt, but to come together and celebrate the life of my great aunt who recently passed so yeah we got together y'all know how like when someone passes well i don't know if this is just a south thing but you go to the family's house you bring food you sign the book and everything so yeah we had jersey mics some fried fish fried chicken cabbage french fries is that it i think that's it but we also had some music going because we do it all in my family yeah that was a good time it was good to see all of my family and my cousins because we really don't get to see each other that often whether we get together or not i'm gonna go to my dad's house after my appointment after i pick up noel add the contents to a pan and cook for about seven minutes so i don't know these mangoes are a little quick ew Y'all what? I've never had this happen to me. Mm, this smells so good. Mm. This right here is so good. Definitely one of my new Trader Joe's faves. I don't understand how time passes so fast because it's already like 10 minutes from the time that I need to leave. So I really need to be simultaneously eating this food and getting ready to go. I have approximately 30 seconds to get out the house, to walk out the door. I'm putting on my, um, I look naked. I have on a tube top. I just put on a tube top with the yoga pants. I feel like it looks kind of funny because my yoga pants are high-waisted, but it is what it is. Gonna be what it's gonna be because I don't have time to change. My armpits could use some shaving. Hopefully nobody's all up in my armpits. I threw on my necklace. I wish I had time to find my other one. My angel number necklace to layer it with, but I'm wearing Beach Walk by Replica. Mason Margiela smells so good. It smells just like summer. And you know I couldn't leave the house without my special drink. I really wanted coffee. This one's actually good. It tastes like peach rings, just like peach rings. And we're headed out. These sunglasses fit my face way better. I really like these Desi sunglasses. And I think they're meant to be slightly oversized, but the nose part just is a little too wide or slippery. It keeps slipping down my nose. I need to add like the anti-slip pads. I had to do that to my Versace ones, but the product ones are perfect. Look who it is. Hey, girl. Six lines. I'm about to cuddle up on the couch and read my book. We beat my dad and my sister to his house. We beat them home. In the meantime, it feels so good to be off early on a Friday, just at home chilling. And it's really, really nice outside. I only have this much of the book left to read. Excuse me, can I read my book, please? I definitely see a nap in my future because 
I am tired. Yeah, as well. oh. All right, let's see here. So, but we're opposite. You got sweatpants and a tank top, and I got a sweatshirt and shorts. Yep. You have lotion, dude. Good morning. It is Saturday morning, very early, crack of dawn. It's, well, I'm dragging it. It's 9.37, and I just pulled up to Target with my homegirl. I'm at Target with Melanie. We're about to go in here and get Starbucks and just shop around. One of the things that we used to like to do is go shop around at Target and TJ Maxx. Literally every Saturday, we would be at TJ Maxx because we went through this, like, perfume obsession phase. So, and we were only buying Marc Jacobs at that point. So, we would go in TJ Maxx and try to find all of the Marc Jacobs perfumes. But, yeah, so... We're at Target. I haven't been here in a while. I haven't been shopping at Target in a while, but I already have a shopping list. I need to go in here and look for a rug, some office decor, and then like a few more little things. Because it's just like straight. <laughs> yes, but it has like a little bit of a flip. Uh-huh, it's so cute. Those smell really good. I would buy those again. I bought them for my sisters for Christmas, but I don't wear designer perfume as often. Or like the ones that we bought when we were on that kit, they still, I still have them. Like, I haven't run out and I'm not anywhere close to running out. Oh, me either. I haven't, those freaking, um, that smells good. And I ain't buying no more. It does. Did you try the other one? Okay. They don't have it. Did you spray that? No, I'm about to. This smells really good. This smells clean. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can't. I'm spraying it too far. That one smells fresh though, like daytime. Because it's awakening and uplift, babe. Oh. <laughs> and this is literally a reminder <laughs> we said, I said that would be good for bed. I didn't even read Wait, that. this smells good, but low key smells manly. A lounge corset? That is too cute. Yeah, for bitches like you. <laughs> We're both trying this Bioma Milky Oil okay. Cleanser and the Camille Rose Honey Hydrate. Oh, they have satin pajamas, Mel. Get out. Shut up. Ooh, I love that color. Yo, oh, I'm getting one. This is so cute. I might be in debt, but we'll be in more tech. <laughs> These are so cute. I can't. Why is this tight and it's a medium? Yeah, get a large. <laughs> <laughs> I got some height off that jump. Ooh, that is so cute. It's such a statement for like a this? living room or oh something beside your mirror. Oh my gosh, I did not mean to kick mirror. it like that. That would be so cute. Train. $100? Oh my god, this was $65. Inflation. Inflation. This little cacti. I don't know. I kind of want a big one though, a tall one. Definitely do that. Make it more of a statement. Mm hmm. Because I already have a small one. Ooh, picture frames. I want to look. Kisu Frama. So, you know how they have like the wavy mirrors? Uh huh. You want the I wavy want that picture frame? And picture frame version, yeah. For my work decks. 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 <laughs> my work decks. <laughs> Y'all knew I was coming back for this one. Are we going in the right direction? Good boyfriend jeans and active wear sets. Uh, I heard the active. I got a Casa Luna mattress topper and it is divine. Really? Yes. You got money, bitch. It was twenty-three dollars. A mattress? Oh, mattress topper, like the foam. Mm-hmm. No, it's not foam, but okay. it's cotton. Okay. I am just so annoyed right now. I think it's a combination of being hot and hangry. But let's do a little Target haul because I have to put these things away. What you doing, girl? Wow, that looks so nice. So I got Noelle a new cup and bowl set. This is just so cute. It is so stinking cute. And then they had the plates to go with it, but I prefer this plate. I know y'all see the lavender purple one I have a lot, but this color here was screaming at me, but it still matches like these two, so. I got a few things for my cubicle at work. I got this little spinning organizer, which I'm gonna put highlighters, pens, sticky notes, and then probably some candies or snacks or something in there. And then I got this 
desk. I don't know. I don't know what this is called. It holds like papers and stuff or magazines to go in the corner of the cubicle. And then I got this little acrylic picture frame. So cute. So I guess the theme that we have going on here is like neutrals. Of course, y'all know I'm a neutrals whore. Sad beige mom, all that, whatever. I got this pack of hangers. They're so cute. I love velvet hangers. I only use velvet hangers. And these are just so sleek because this part is black too. I only got a 10 count. I'm not trying to place all the hangers. So, you know, we're just going to mix and match some hangers. Now, y'all know I was coming back for this. I could not leave Target without this. Me and Mel came across the cutest satin pajamas. And it's a long sleeve pajama set. So, I'm excited because I don't have any long sleeve pajamas yet. And I love satin pajamas. I got the pants and the top. So cute love the color you know this is right up our alley mel got them too and she got a pair for sam so it was like we can't get them and leave her out i got this set this two-piece set is so cute for the fall it's just a short sleeve kind of like sweater vibe it gives crew neck but it's just short sleeve and it has the matching sweats but they are wide leg at the bottom. That is going to be so cute. I plan on getting Noelle some ultra mini Uggs in toddler size. Y'all, they made some in toddler size and they are so stinking cute. And I also plan on getting her some Tasman, but I don't know. Hopefully Target comes out with their dupe before I decide to buy the Ugg Tasman in her size. Because really, I would just be rocking with the Target dupe. We had those last year and I love them. I see. Make sure you stay on your blanket. Don't get any marker on the couch or on the walls, okay? Okay? Okay. Melanie and I both got this Bioma Milky Oil Cleanser. I hear you, girl. BRB. We got this oil cleanser from Bioma. We were both in there talking about wanting to try Korean skincare, and I went to the back to read, like, the ingredients and everything, and it said that it was made in Korea. So, is this Korean skincare? She was telling me that it's good to double cleanse first with an oil-based cleanser to break down all the dirt, makeup, and impurities on your face, and then go in with your regular cleanser. For me, that would be the La Roche Pose. La Roche Pose. You know what I'm talking about the Effectlar Salicylic Acid Acne Cleanser. I really like that one. It works for me. I have acne prone skin and oily skin. I was kind of hesitant on using an oil cleanser since I have oily skin, but based on my research, I think it's a myth that oil on oily skin makes it worse. I don't know. I guess we're gonna see. I'm just gonna hope for the best. The last thing I got was this Camille Rose Honey Hydrate Leave-In. Wait. It says leave-in collection in part one, step one. So was I supposed to get something else? It says I can use it as a leave-in on freshly conditioned hair and then style. But I got it because I need something for Noelle's curls. I don't really need anything for my hair. I use living cream. But her hair is a little bit different from mine. She has fine hair. But her hair is way no. more curlier. Yeah. And why are you being mean? Don't be mean. And don't be too hard on it. You might break it, babe. Be gentle. It looks like honey and it smells like honey. So I'm excited to try that on her hair. I might use it today. We're about to take a shower and get ourselves together. Because we are looking rough feeling rough when i got back from target it was 12 o'clock almost and my sister was laying noel down for a nap so i just laid on the couch too and watched some baddies west y'all baddies west is not off good to a good start drank my poppies i had two left in here she drank both of them and i'm like really i already told her that poppies is off limits to her guests like i don't want your friends in here drinking up my expensive prebiotic soda like drink everything else but that please but my sister drank them and i was looking forward to that when i came home yes you do
If you eat ramen noodles, do you like your noodles dry or wet? wet? Like, do you like the juice in there still, or do you like drain the juice so that you have dry noodles? Personally, I like the juice to be at the bottom. Chick-fil-A drive through and finishing up the last of the iced coffee I made because I couldn't survive today without an afternoon pick me up but it's actually really late in the day it's 7 08 and I didn't realize it was this late and we hadn't eaten dinner and I feel bad because Noelle's extra fussy, by the way, and she dozed off. She's extra fussy because one, she's tired, and two, because she's hungry. Like, I completely lost track of time and how long it was taking me to get ready. So she's sleeping, but I just got her an eight count meal. My girl eats eight count meals. She's like, what is the kid's meal? I need more than that. But this is my second time doing this at Chick-fil-A, so I'm very indecisive when I come to Chick-fil-A. I don't know if I want a spicy sandwich, a regular sandwich, a chicken strip meal. Girl, I don't know. I just be confused. So I told the lady to pick a meal for me, but surprise me. And the options I gave her was the three count chicken strip meal with fries and a water, or a number one sandwich meal with a whole grain brioche bun, fries and water. So I have no idea what I'm gonna get. Both of them just sound really good. So yeah, I couldn't pick. Do y'all ever like freeze up at the window when it's time to order? <laughs> I didn't wanna pick like, I don't know. I just wanted a surprise. So I'm curious to see what she'll give me. Last time I did that, I'm pretty sure I gave the same two options and the girl chose the sandwich. Thank you. All I got is the nuggets. So they forgot my entree. It's a nugget and two fries, but the receipt is right here. She ordered me the sandwich with the multi-grain bun. But she made a good choice, y'all. I swear, the multi-grain bun on a regular sandwich hits. Like, you don't need a grilled sandwich to get the multi-grain bun. It's so good. It's buttery. It's just so good. And it's a healthier option. 